Welcome to the Frugal Travellers, budget travelling around the world and currently housing our way around Portugal. At the moment, Mandy and I are separated because uh, she's finishing off a house sit in Nazare and then she's going to another uh, look after the farm up on the Quinta. And I've come down to Praia del Rey to look after Tilly, the gorgeous little kitten. We're going to be apart for five weeks, so in this video I'm going to show you a little bit around PDR. I actually showed you PDR before, so I'll put a link to that one up here. Uh, a little bit around what it's like to be house sitting alone for five weeks. And I'm going to cook one of my favourite frugal travel meals, real budget travellers cooking. This is a Joey Gray. Stick around to see what that's like. So this is what Tilly likes it all day. It's amazing what you can do with an empty beer box and a ball out of a roll-on deodorant. And here's a frugal life tip. When you think you're finished with your deodorant, don't throw it away, get the ball out for the cat, and then what's left inside, I'm guaranteed you will be able to apply for at least another week. I've already done that. It's my birthday today, so I've come down to Balial Beach to treat myself. I've come to Casa Seven Mares restaurant, right on the beach, and I've got myself a galau and a tosta mista. Ham and cheese for 370 for the tosta mista. 150 for the Galau and a million dollar view. Perfect. I've counted about 50 surfers out here today. They're all in wetsuits, but I'm going to try and go in just in a pair of boardies. It's pretty cold. But first swim of the year, end of March, got to go for it. Okay, here goes. Water temperature isn't that warm, but. Let's do this. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had a swim on my birthday. Mission accomplished. Oh. Come to service. It's a shame that Mandy couldn't join me for my birthday here. She's house sitting up in the Quinta up north and I'm house sitting in Playa del Rey, but at least I've got time to spend some time in Balliol. Mandy will be down soon and we'll celebrate together then. Beautiful day today, so I'm going to jump on the fold-up bike that a good friend lent to me. Thank you so much, Fiona. And head down to one of the local beaches, Pico de Mota, about a kilometre down the road from PDR. Because I want to, oh, the tide is right in, so I don't think I'll get down to the beach much. But uh, it's really windy today, you can see by the white caps. Yeah, I should have checked the tide chart because when the tide's out, there's plenty of beach here, but when it's in, it's right up to the front. But it's a very impressive. And this might be a nice spot to stop at sit down and admire the scenery. There's 
quite a bit more beach here which just heads down south towards Balial in the distance over there. This will do me a nice spot out of the wind. Cheers. So it's frugal travellers cooking time. Today I'm going to do a Joey Gray which is a traditional Romany one pot dish. Um, a nice hearty stew that is great for cooking in one pot in the winter time, getting some cheap, good vegetables inside you. Yeah. I've been house sitting alone for a while. Mandy's been in a separate place. So I've been living like a bachelor, eating a lot of fried food and junk food. So it's time for me to have something healthy. So this is what I'm doing. The Joey Gray is basically garlic and onion, potatoes, carrots, and tomato. I'm going to put bacon in it and chorizo sausage. Chorizo doesn't normally go in. Sometimes normal sausage goes in, but we're in Portugal, so let's do something a bit Portuguese. There's going to be stock cubes in there. And I'm also going to add a traditional Joey Gray. Normally is fairly bland with just the normal vegetables and meat in, but I'm going to add some spices and tomato stuff as well, just to make it interesting because I like spicy stuff. I'll chop first because I don't like chopping while I'm cooking. It stresses me out and I like to get everything arranged in advance. So I'll do that and I'll talk you through how to make a Joey Gray. chopped up and good to go. Got the heat on, about a medium, and I'm gonna put a bit of oil in to start with. some herbs, I'm going to put in some oregano out of us, get some flavour going, and a little bit of chilli powder, why not? Okay, now it's time for the bacon and chorizo, cut those up, yeah this isn't Maybe a traditional Joe Gray, but it's going to be a bit of a, a nice flavour in there from the chorizo. The fat from that will cook away. While it's cooking away, I'm making up some stock cubes here. A couple of stock cubes. And next go in the potatoes. And the puppies. And the carrots. So, got no idea about quantities. I'm making this all up as I go along. I just want to make one big massive pot. So then I've got dinner for the next three or four days and I don't have to worry about it. It's my idea of lazy cooking. Okay, so now time to add the stock. Get some moisture in there. 
not nearly enough, so I might add some more water. Should do it. Turn it up a bit to get it going. Now the tomatoes can go in. Slip, slap, slap. Now you can really add anything you want. My apologies to the traveller community who will say, no, don't do that, keep it traditional. But I'm gonna put in this that I found in Portugal, really nice Vinha Dalio. Only need a little bit of that because it's a little bit salty. And then I'm gonna go with some Sambo Olic. Give it some punch. Lovely, lovely and some ketchup picante because I've got no tomato paste so this will have to do instead. Use what you've got available, that's the way it works when you're travelling. That's all going to get simmered away now for about half an hour on a medium heat and we will be done. Another mm. important thing, make sure the cat's fed. You ready to leave? Okay, here you go. Tilly's happy, I'm happy. So there we are, it's all done. I'm pretty pleased with that. Serve it up. With some warm bread and butter, perfect. And this should keep me going for quite a few days. Ho, ho, ho. So there it is. Wow, a very cheap and filling one pot meal, which is great in the winter time. Perfect, cushy. Well, five weeks have flown by and Monday's back tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more frugal travel and budget travel advice and information. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.